the information I'm going to share with you on this video is top secret. LG is not telling you. You cannot find this information on the internet. Nobody knows exactly on this LG C1 what is Motion Pro Low doing exactly. Motion Pro Medium and High. This is it. <laughs> this is the information I've been looking for and I couldn't find it. I figured this out myself and I'm gonna tell you how so you can check this out. And I'm going to explain you of course what this means and what can you do with this information. It's just, this is not just a cool <laughs> thing to know. This is something that you can actually use and I, of course I will do a separate video about on the games, how to set up the settings based on this uh, information and this knowledge. So what is the black frame insertion doing? Actually I don't like the, the word black frame insertion because that's not what is happening. The TV is not inserting a black frame. <laughs> that's not what's going on here. So what Motion Pro is doing, it is reducing the pixel visibility time. And based on the Blur Busters law, which I rewrite here uh, for 4K, so I, I changed the Blur Busters law for 4K because they write that uh, for 1080p. Okay, so this LG C1 is 4K, so I adjusted the Blur Busters law for 4K. So what that law is telling you is that the motion clarity is equal to the pixel visibility time. Okay, and the motion clarity is going to depend on the speed that the object is moving on the screen. So what Motion Pro is doing. It is reducing that pixel visibility time by doing the following, okay? The TV is drawing the picture left to right, top to bottom, okay? Left to right, top to bottom. So it is drawing in the case of Motion Pro Medium at 120 Hz. So this is only for 120 Hz. I have to do a separate video for 60 Hz. So Motion Pro Medium, it is drawing left to right, top to bottom. After it gets to 50% of the screen, it keeps scrolling down and the rest is black. So it's going to scroll down 50% of the picture and it's going to keep doing that, scrolling down 50% of the picture. So what that is achieving is it is reducing in half the pixel visibility time, hence improving the motion clarity to X, doubling the motion clarity. So for example, at 120 Hertz, if you don't use Motion Pro, you get 120 frames in one second. Each frame stays on the screen 8.3 milliseconds. How do you get that number? One second divided by 120, that result is in seconds. You multiply that by 1000 and you get 8.3 milliseconds, okay? So half of that is 4.2 milliseconds. So what does this mean? This means that you get 4.2 milliseconds of persistence, that means that you get 8.4 pixels of motion blur when the object is moving at 1000 pixels per second. If the object is moving at half the speed, then you get half the amount of pixels of motion blur. And the ideal thing is that you get one pixel of motion blur. So that means that at that given speed, you are not getting any blur. So having perfect motion clarity means that the object looks exactly the same on a picture or if the object is moving. There's no distinction whatsoever. It looks the same. That's what you want. <laughs> you want that when you move the camera on the game, it looks the same. <laughs> that if you're not moving the camera at all, that's perfect motion clarity. Of course, if you increase the speed, you know, <laughs> there's a limit. You increase the speed, you get a motion blur, then you need more motion clarity, okay? So then, for example, Motion Pro High is reducing that window size to 38%, okay? So what this means is that 120 hertz, 120 frames per second, if we use Motion Pro High, we are getting 3.2 milliseconds of persistence. So if we get 3.2 milliseconds of persistence at 4K, that means 6.4 pixels of motion blur when moving at 1000 pixels per second. Or 3.2 pixels of motion blur when moving at 500 pixels per second. Or 480 
uh, like you see here on the test on the Blurbusters test. So we use, for example, 480 pixels per second. We use Motion Pro High, and we are going to get 3.2 pixels of motion blur. Okay, that's it. How can you get one pixel? You can do the math. <laughs> okay, and we see here Motion Pro Low is doing 75% of the window size. So it is scrolling down 75% of the screen and it keeps doing that. So how I figured out these numbers, this was so tough. You can see this eye, my left eye, it hurts. <laughs> I've been following that UFO test thousands of times to verify these numbers. And I'm gonna tell you how you can figure, how you can verify these numbers for yourself very easily so for example you come here to the ufo test and and you can start here 960 pixels per second and you turn on motion pro high so 960 pixels per second 120 hertz you use motion pro high that is going to give you the same motion clarity as 720 so see if you change here to 720 pixels per second using motion pro medium they are going to look the same exactly the same and for this testing i am going to recommend you to change the window size to a hundred percent okay so when you come here to system display the scale you have to use a hundred percent so you can see better so you can see this ufo test at 4k so it is pixel perfect so that allows you to see the differences more uh, clearly okay this doesn't change the blur busters law but it does allow you to see everything better because also the ufo test is going to move slower on the screen so that's how i verify that 960 motion pro high is the same as 720 motion pro medium so then how i figured out uh what is motion pro medium uh, doing what i did it was to use uh Four pixels, so we, we come here, we change this to 480, okay? So 120 hertz, we change to 480 pixels per second. At that speed, I see, so I'm using my eyes, I see that this looks exactly the same as if I don't use Motion Pro at all. So I don't use uh, Motion Pro, and I look at this picture. So 240 pixels per second looks exactly the same as 480 pixels per second with Motion Pro Medium. So what that means is that Medium is improving the motion clarity to X, okay? Or is reducing the pixel visibility time in half, okay? And then the third comparison that I used was uh, four milliseconds so I use this 480 pixels per second and I use motion pro low so 480 pixels per second you have 120 Hertz you use motion pro low that is going to give you the same picture as six milliseconds using motion pro medium okay so 6 milliseconds, so 720 pixels per second, that gives you 6. And you use Motion Pro Medium, that is going to look exactly the same as if you use 480 pixels per second and you use Motion Pro Low. So you might think, oh, but what is, yeah, <laughs> but what can you do with that? You do a system of equations, bro. <laughs> I'm engineering telecommunications and electronics, so this is simple math, but it's not difficult. It's not difficult. You start everything by knowing exactly what is Motion Pro Medium. It is very easy to see that Motion Pro Medium is 50% window size. So after you know that, you compare, you do an equation with medium and uh, high, and then you do an equation with medium and low. So you basically find two combinations here with medium and high that you can see they look exactly the same so you find a given speed using motion pro medium and a different speed using motion pro high that look the same and then you find 
a combination of Motion Pro Low that looks the same as another speed with Motion Pro Medium. Okay, and I gave you already the three uh, combinations, the three equations of my system of equations. And that's how I figured out these numbers. This is again, this is for 120 hertz. I have to do a separate video uh, for 60. And I, I will, of course, do a video about how to use this information for the games, actually. <laughs> Bro, just give me the settings, I don't care. This is not the video for you. <laughs> this is the video. If you really want to know exactly what is each of these settings doing. And this is so interesting. I've been wondering this for the longest time. But I finally figured it out. And yeah, I am so proud of my work. I, I, I really worked hard for this video. Really, really hard because I wanted to know. I wanted to know. And it would be amazing if one day <laughs> the Blurbusters uh, chief <laughs> watches this video and tell me, your channel is Blurbusters approved. <laughs> if he give me the okay, that would be great. That would be amazing. I, I would feel fantastic if he watches this video and tell me, yeah, you got it right. <laughs> so the reason why he doesn't have this information, as far as I, I mean, I did my research. The, the only thing that I was able to see on the Blurbusters um, you know, website and on the forums was he was talking about the CX and 60 Hertz black frame insertion. And he basically said, okay, for 120, you know, it doesn't matter because the GPUs are not fast enough, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna get 120 rock solid. So yeah, that basically he didn't, he didn't share the numbers for, for 120. He didn't have the C1 either. So the C1 might be different from the CX. I would need to test the CX. So yeah, this is the LG C1. These are the three options. I have to do a separate video for 60 Hertz and I have to do a separate video for auto. It's completely different. But I think that I might have to um, alternate the content and do something with games because this kind of, this kind of content is too heavy for many people and I don't want to lose <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> you know, I, I know people, bro, just give me a setting. So I have to do, I, I, I want to, to please also the, the, you know, the majority. And I think that the, I know that the majority might not be interested in this heavy um, content. So I have to, you know, mix it up. I, I like, I love this stuff. This is what I like. <laughs> I want to go even deeper and more in depth and why. But people don't, most people uh, prefer, okay, this is the game, this is why on this game specifically. So yeah, I have to do, I have to mix it up. But I would really, I really have so much to talk about this Blurbusters Law, VR, uh, you know, LCD, strobing, um, yeah, differences between, yeah, many, many, many things, many things, many things related with this. Uh, with this content. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions and especially if you can check this out for yourself and see the same that I see. It takes a lot of effort, man, because to watch that UFO test move so fast and eye track, <laughs> it, is, um, it is tough, it is tough. But yeah, I have to also do a video about the brightness implications of each option and when I recommend to use one or the other, depending on the game, depending on the speed you move the camera, depending on many things. So this, this, yeah, this is content. This is a lot of content that I have related with this, but I don't want to completely focus on this because um, I have a lot of people that subscribe for the games and for other content. So I want to uh, mix it up. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.